Hi there, Phil Ellis from Cleveland Software Design. I'm going to show you how my solenoid life extenders work. So I've got my life extender hooked up to one solenoid. I also have a voltmeter as well as a power supply that's set at about 12 volts. So if I go ahead and power this solenoid, you'll notice through the life extender, clicks, and also not through the life extender, clicks just the same. So it sounds exactly the same, and that's because initially the solenoid gets 12 volts in both cases, okay? The difference though is when the solenoid is running, what the solenoid actually has to go through. So I'm gonna apply power through the solenoid, light extender, okay? And you'll see we have about 1.2 amps flowing through the solenoid. Solenoid has about four volts across it, a little more than four volts. And so what that equates to is about five watts of energy that this solenoid is gonna end up seeing and having to dissipate as heat, okay? Uh, so five watts, okay, you know, that's a little bit of energy, it's actually not that much, and that's why this life extender works so well, because your solenoid won't get hot when it's running through this thing, even if it's kept on for long periods of time. Now this next, I'll just show you an example of running it without it, okay? So now you'll see, we're running at three and a half amps, and of course there's 12 volts across it, so about 45 watts, and that's a lot of energy. So as you can imagine, 45 watts in this little space right here, this thing is going to get very, very hot. And I understand that in a virtual pinball cabinet, most of the time you're running in at about, for the flippers even, it's probably a 30-40% duty cycle, but that's still uh, that's still too high for this thing. That's like 20 watts on average this thing has to dissipate. They're just not designed to do that, so of course they'll fail with, with a short amount of time. Uh, so, you know, that's one benefit that you get from the life extender is that a lot of your heat, obviously, is not getting dissipated by this thing, so a lot less heat for your solenoids, so the life will last a lot longer, which is exactly what we're after here. The other uh, thing that you get with this, though, is now your solenoid's using a lot less power. So for your typical uh, 10 solenoid setup or 8 solenoid setup, now you can run them all off of like a 120 watt power supply as opposed to the traditional setup where you need about uh, probably about a 500 watt power supply to run them properly. So you get two really great benefits from this thing. They're not very expensive. Uh, this unit here sells for $35. It's free shipping. And then the uh, four... Uh, the unit with four outputs is uh, $30. So pretty good deal. And uh, links are on the bottom of the video. Hope you find it useful. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.